Okay, here we go. Hey guys, it's me, Will. Um, and of course now, you see, I am shirtless, but don't worry, I have shorts on. Um, here's my chest. What it looks like 11 and a half years after top surgery. So, it's looking pretty good. I love having a flat chest. The moment when I woke up from anesthesia and I looked down and my chest was flat, I can't describe how happy I was. I was so happy. And if you are already had top surgery, you know what I'm talking about, or if you are in the process of getting top surgery, trust me, it's like the best decision you would ever make. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how I shave my head with a razor and with some shaving cream and basically talk to you about what's been going on with me lately. So, I am using Barbasol shaving cream. Um, get a big bunch of it in my hand and then I start smearing it all over my head. Well, I shave my head every day so my hair doesn't grow. Because during the summer, it is it gets pretty hot. Not humid, but hot. And I tend to get overheated very easily. So, I decided to shave my head and shave it every single day. Keep it short. Right now, what's going on in my life is uh, we're having an issue, a family issue, with one of our pets, um, Daisy. She's a Pembroke Welsh Corgi Britney Spaniel mix. She's 13 years old. And last week she was sick she was throwing up and not eating and um, having diarrhea you know just not feeling good at all and there were a few couple days in a row that she was just puking just non-stop um, she wouldn't eat anything which was alarming because this is a dog that's very food motivated. Um, so my dad took her to the vet, to our vet that's up the street from us. And they said that she has pancreatitis. And what they thought was possibly kidney failure and they were giving her an outlook of six, six months to a year left to live. We took her to an emergency vet ER place that's on North Nevada, here in the Springs. And they did an ultrasound and they found out that she has a cyst on her pancreas and that she doesn't have kidney failure, she has a kidney infection. So, so she's been in the hospital since Wednesday, I believe. And they had her in the emergency, and then the next day they moved her over to their their other hospital and we got we've been getting updates every day several times a day 
and she still isn't wanting to eat. So they're going to give her something to make that makes her hungry, uh, a stimulant for her appetite to, so she'll feel hungry. And so she might come home tomorrow afternoon, but if she doesn't eat, then we don't know. Um, Daisy is my dad's dog. She is his baby. Um, and when she's not eating, then you know something is definitely wrong and she's still not eating. Because this dog is very food motivated, um, like I said before. Um, so I'm think. well, she's 13, she has arthritis, she has pain issues, she, she's nuts, she's totally psycho. She's on medication to curb her psych, being psycho, but, um, but she's a really sweet dog, you know, she, she's extremely sweet extremely, you know, she can be stubborn as a mule, but anyways, so I would need what I'm asking for you guys is to send all your positive thoughts and prayers to, see, I'm not a very religious person. We all aren't. My family, we aren't. Um, we, we believe there's God, we just want to find him in our own, worship him in our own way. So, so, if you can send your good thoughts and prayers our way, so we can send some good Put it out there in the universe so there's some good karma coming. That would be greatly appreciated. There we go. Oh, for you who want to are curious, I'm using a Gillette Pro Glide razor, which is very good. Um, <clears throat> there it is. So yeah, if you could send the positive energy towards our way, that would be greatly appreciated. Um, because if this dog dies, my dad will be a depressed wreck. Like he has serious depression. And so, yeah. So, anyways, that's basically it for this video. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. If you like what you see, hit that like button and subscribe if you're new. And I will talk to you guys later. Oh! Thank you to my new subscriber. I now have two subscribers. So thank you so much. And I love you. I love you so much. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.